This is Euclid Book 8, Proposition Number 20. Okay. If one mean proportional number falls between two numbers, the numbers will be similar plain numbers. For let one mean proportional number C fall between two numbers A and B. So C here will fall between A and B. I say that A and B are similar plain numbers. Let D and E, the least numbers of those which have the same ratio with A and C, be taken. And this is by Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 33. So we now have... Hang on. D and E. We have D and E. Okay. Therefore, D measures A the same number of times that E measures C. Okay, and this is by Euclid Book 7, definition, uh, Proposition Number 20. Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 20. D measures A the same number of times that E measures C. Okay. Now, as many times as D measures A, so many units let there be an F. Okay. So let's say that D measures A three times. Okay, we're going to say that D measures A three times. Well, F would be three. Okay. Therefore, F by multiplying D has made A. F times D makes A. Okay. So that A is plain and D and F are its sides. Okay, so D D and F are the sides of A. Again, since D and E are the least of the numbers which have the same ratio as C and B, therefore D measures C the same number of times as E measures B. D measures C the same number of times that E measures B. This is by Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 20. As many times then as E measures B, E measures B, okay, so many units let there be in G. Okay. Therefore G by multiplying E, so G times E, what does it make? It makes B. G times E makes B. Therefore, B is a plane, and E and G are its sides. B is plane, E and G are the sides of the plane. Okay? Therefore, A and B are plane numbers. I say next, they are also similar. For since F by multiplying D has made A, F times D makes A. And by multiplying E has made C. F times E. Let me see. Yes. F times E makes C. Okay. Therefore, as D is to E, as D is to E, so is A is to C. Okay. That is, C is to B. So as D is to E, so as C is to... Okay. Let me try this again. As D is to B, so as A is to C, so as C is to B. This is by Euclid Book 7, definite, sorry, Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 17. Again, since E by multiplying F, E times F, 
Oh, okay. Since E by multiplying F is made C, and E by multiplying G has made B, therefore as F is to G, as F is to G, so is also C is to B. This is by Euclid Book 7 Def... Why, why do I keep saying definition? Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 17. But as C is to B, so as D is to E. So as, as C is to B, so as D is to E. Therefore also as D is to E, so as F is to G. As D is to E, so as F is to G. And alternately, as D is to F, so as E is to G. So as D is to F, so as E is to G. And this is by Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 13. Therefore, A and B are similar plane numbers for their sides are proportional. Wow! Alright, I will tell you more in my next video. Stay tuned.